What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today and today I have a massive release reaction video for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Super excited to finally get back into the release reactions. I have a lot to talk about in this video and I hope you guys are excited for it. So without any further delay, let's get started because we have a lot going on. So first and foremost, I want to apologize about the lack of release reaction videos. It was really weird because I ended up getting a lot more videos recorded than what I anticipated and as a result, I didn't... Uh, have space for all the release reaction videos to go so I decided to just wait for quite a while and just make one huge uh, release reaction video because there was like probably I don't know probably 10 or 15 that will be in this video and I didn't uh, think that they all needed individual videos with all the other content going on sure they would have been nice individual assessments but I thought it'd be more logical to make a huge video like this because I think what we'll do going forward Jim and I will have their own video NG will have their own video maybe JC wings and Phoenix and any other big releases and then we'll transition into everything else being in uh, a cumulative videos like you know twice a month or whatever so really really excited for this nevertheless I hope you guys are too we have a ton of releases and I'm just gonna go till I feel like it's time to cut the video so I, it'll probably be 40 minutes or so but we have a lot of re uh, releases so I'll try to make a good balance between not being uh, too vague on some models but also not going too far in detail because I know it's very easy to get our uh, feet going in all this so nevertheless I hope you guys are excited for this and we have a ton of releases so so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because we have a lot to go into. So with all that being said, let's get started. We're going to start right here. This is from May 26th, so we are going pretty far back. So some of this is old news, unfortunately, I hate to say, but we are still going to go into it because there's a lot of good stuff and I haven't seen any of it. I mean, I may have seen like, you know, glances and things like that, but I haven't seen everything in its uh, details. So we have a lot to go into and let's get started. So we're going to start with JC Wings' uh, pre-orders here. Uh, this is kind of more current because these are still not in yet, but yeah, we have a lot to go into with this. So Let's just get started. JC Wings 1 200 for pre order. Let's go. Lutonza 8340 600 Delta Alpha India Hotel Kilo. Very nice right here in the 1 200 scale. Uh, such a beautiful plane, man. This gives me so many memories from CLT 13's Charlotte updates uh, back in the day and all that fun stuff going to Munich. Super, super cool, man. So, really glad to see that. I think they have a pretty good A340 mold. So, let me know if you guys are getting that aircraft because that seems like a good one. And sorry, the camera got a little tilted to the outside and I want to work on the focus a little bit because it seems like it was just a touch out of focus. So, there we go. Right Right there very very nice very good to see that uh release very cool okay a lot polish uh norkica livery i guess um bombardier nasir day dash 900 er echo sierra alpha charlie bravo really really cool plane this is a beautiful livery um i don't know about this um brand i would assume is what this is uh that much but must be something to do with uh something blue there is some sort of instec it looks like a butterfly or something on tell so that looks really cool looks like a very nice aircraft and i'm sure anybody looking for that particular aircraft would be the equivalent of like the uh probably the envoy retro or something like that maybe not that significant but fairly similar right there so very cool to see that from lot very very nice Ooh, Eddie had Airways Boeing 787-10 Alpha 6 Bravo Mike Delta. Very cool to see this right here. Uh, I've recently became very interested in the Eddie had new livery after seeing the 787-9 at Chicago. It is such a pretty livery, man. Just take a look at it from the gold up here on the front of the fuselage to obviously the really cool shades, a gold on tail with some uh, black, brown, silver, white. All of that just looks so cool. So it's such a pretty livery and uh, man, it's so cool. Um, Really hope to get a Dash 9 won the 400 sometime, but the Dash 10 and won the 200 is really cool, and it's such a pretty plane, so I'd highly recommend that. That's a beautiful livery. Really nice to see that from Eddie Hod. Indica Airbus A320 Delta Alpha Bravo Hotel Hotel. Really nice to see this aircraft as well. Um, kind of looks like the uh, this potentially could be the former um, Air... Um, Berlin aircraft because it looks pretty much the exact same. So that's my guess. Could be completely wrong on that. Could just be that similar, but it definitely kind of looks like Air Berlin's livery and I miss them dearly. So cool aircraft right there. Don't know too much about that, but definitely seems like a cool probably a low-cost carrier, but maybe a full-fledged carrier in the uh, United States. Dragonair Cargo Boeing 747 400, or, ooh, 300 freighter, excuse me, Delta Kilo Alpha Bravo in the 20th anniversary livery. I didn't even know they had a mold for that. That is a very cool. So really cool to see this aircraft. Very niche-based aircraft. I'm sure anybody looking for a retro cargo aircraft kind of be like the UPS uh, DC-8. There is a pretty big market for some of those aircraft. So this definitely could have some real substantial um, need in the community. So nice to see that there from JC Winks. I'm sure they did a good job. So very nice to see that right there. 
Starlux, Airbus A321neo, Bravo 58203. Very nice to see this. This is a very unique livery. I don't know too much about this airline either, but they seem like a cool one for sure. So really nice to see that right there. Uh, I think Bravo is China, I think. Could be wrong, that Hong Kong area. So this must be a low-cost carrier in that area. Potentially, this could be a full-fledged airline. I don't know, but there are so many low-cost carriers nowadays that I would just have to auto-default to low-cost. So cool to see that released right there, and that's very nice. Into the 1 to 400s. Let's see what we got. Uh, Boeing House Company. Company, um, triple seven nine X. Very nice to see this November seven seven nine X ray X ray. This is a very cool plane. The one the four hundred scale. Really eager to see how this mold turns out for JC. I haven't seen too much of it, so hopefully it turns out good because this seems like a very cool plane. So nice to see another house livery, and I'm going to be excited to see what kind of liveries they end up doing with that uh, mold because that's a really really nice aircraft. Very nice. Japan Boeing seven four seven four hundred uh, Juliet Alpha nine or eight nine one five. Very cool to see this aircraft as well. This is a very niche based aircraft. Well, let me take that back. Anybody in Japan that really likes Japan Airlines probably has some attachment to this aircraft just because of how significant the value was whether you did get the fly on it or got the seat or just love the retro aspect seems like a really cool plane to me and i'm sure anybody looking for that's really going to enjoy that so nice to see that and the 747 mold's pretty solid from gc so that is a solid uh model right there we also have a flaps down iteration you got to get the flaps down when you can and i can say after seeing it at airliners international it is super super cool so no hate on the flaps down um i don't know if i would like it to go flaps or like retractable on one model or not. I feel like that would probably get a little out of hand. So, and I never hated it to begin with the clarify. It was just, it was interesting to see so many iterations of it, but now I see why just because of how it, it's different once you see it. So I apologize for all my um, reluctant comments on flaps down again, because it is really cool to see so many flaps down planes. So very open to that nowadays. And I think it's really nice. Tap Air Portugal, Airbus A330 Neo. Sorry, I may have to turn the iPad off. Uh, Airbus A330 Neo, Charlie Sierra, uh, Tango Uniform India in the 100th uh, titles for JC. I'm assuming this is their 100th. Or this is either the 100th A330 Neo, maybe, or this could be a 100th something, their anniversary. I'm not exactly sure, but really cool to see this. Now, it was very, very nice to get to see this at. Um, Chicago the other day, which was really, really cool. It wasn't the best situation for the photography side of it, but it was very substantial to get to see the actual aircraft, and it was so cool. So uh, really, really nice aircraft. Definitely hope to get a TAP plane one day, and it may be the 330neo. It's a beautiful plane, and I really, really like what JC has going there. So very nice right there from JC Wings. That is awesome. China Airlines, Airbus A350-900, Bravo 18912. Very nice. So I think NG did one. I could be wrong on that. There's been a lot of airplanes from NG recently, but there's a good chance that they have done this aircraft. So uh, nice to see another iteration. The JC350 mold's very, very good. So I would highly recommend this aircraft if you're looking for one. This is a perfect time to get another iteration of such. Very nice. Another flaps down aircraft. Very nice to see. And for anybody looking to set up a scene like that or just have their first flaps down aircraft or whatever the case may be, this is probably a great model to do it. So very nice. And I can only imagine buying, um, you know, uh, Bing's, um, or I don't know how the best way the word this is, but wanting to collect every model from one airline and having to get the flaps down for everyone, that just seems like a lot if you're already in the normal one. And I kind of feel the same way about the American Triple Three from Gemini. So I don't know what I'll do there yet, but nevertheless, very nice, very cool. Flybe Ember Ear J-175, uh, Gulf Foxtrot Bravo Juliet Hotel. Nice to see this aircraft as well. This is probably a high demand one if I had to guess. I could be wrong on that, but that's gotta be a nice aircraft. So we don't get to see Ember 175 with the normal winglets um, that much nowadays. So it's cool to see this one and I'm sure will sell really well so nice release right there from jc and that's really really cool uh, how about a North Scoot Boeing 777-200 er hotel sierra x-ray bravo foxtrot this must be some sort of like um uh, what's uh i don't know what the best way to call it is this must be some sort of like subsidiary i guess subsidiary i don't know what you want to call it but some sort of lower tier um to the main scoot uh which is cool to see i don't know too much about this so i'm not sure um how to assess it but it definitely seems like a cool livery and all that fun stuff so very very interesting release but it looked pretty good so i uh, definitely got some character on that livery too so very nice to see that right there and uh very interesting for sure uh very very interesting another flaps down this is a very interesting one for our flaps down this isn't a generic plane or anything but hey this is definitely going to make it very unique and i can't complain so nice to see the flaps down there too that's really really nice lut airbus e330 200 delta alpha uh, lima papa delta i'm not sure if this airline's still in service or not uh but i know they had a lot of retro planes uh, this uh looks like a really nice fine or uh this looks like a really nice current fine livery i'm not exactly sure 
but it looks really, really good. Kind of similar to the Air Berlin, as we were talking about earlier. Uh, it looks really, really good. Nice and simple LUT. Looks really good. .com on the engines right there. That's very nice. So really cool to see that. And that is a beautiful aircraft right there. That is it for that release. Uh, not too much to go into there. Very nice. Glad to see that working really well. And with that being said, let's transition into the next one, if I can get this going here. Alrighty, so here we go into some more future releases for JC Wings. So this is turning into the JC Wings assessment. Let's take a look. So in the 1 to 400 scale, we're starting with the Super Guppy with a skin tag. I did kind of get to see this one. This one looks really, really cool. So this is nice that they're including this. Aerospace Lines, Boeing 377, SG, Tango, Foxtrot, Bravo, Tango, Golf, Victor. Very cool plane. I think these aircraft are also uh, very, very unique. Uh, I'm eager to see how this one turns out for it, uh, JC. I think they'll do a good job with it. So very cool to see that. And that is really, really cool right there very nice okay flaps down lutonza airbus e350 900 delta alpha india victor uh delta with the clean tech flyer titles very cool it was very very cool to get to see the lutonza a350s at chicago they are beautiful planes uh it was so nice so getting to see more releases of these beautiful aircraft is awesome highly recommend getting one i hope to get one myself these are beautiful planes so great to see the clean tech flyer and the euro white lutons delivery looks very very interesting uh with no blue on it so very nice right there and i'm glad to see that there for lutonza and there is your normal iteration as well because absolutely uh very nice to see that as well and yeah uh this is kind of the equivalent of like i don't know not quite like medal of honor or stand up to cancer i'm trying to think of an airline that has big because in the u.s you don't see big titles like that you, i guess team usa for delta would be a pretty good comparison but most of the time you see like full-fledged special liveries or just normal liveries so nice to see and it's a neat hybrid for sure i really i'm very fascinated by that here's the uh, flaps down Qantas airbus a350 1000 foxtrot victor mike india delta and our spirit flies further uh, i believe that this was also done by phoenix which is very nice so great to see jc wings doing it uh this is kind of a pick your poison type deal but I think the JC Mold's definitely better than the Phoenix one. They're both pretty good, though, so definitely pick uh, which one that you want and get it for yourself because it's very nice. Also, normal iteration because, yes, who doesn't love the normal iterations? That's a beautiful aircraft right there, and anybody looking for it, definitely get it. And always uh, credit to the photographers on the uh, JC or on the newsletters that, email, that Easy Toys uses for those photos. Very nice. Okay, MIAT uh, Magadan Airlines, Boeing 787-9, Julia Uniform 1789. How about that? Cool plane, very unique livery. I really like it. It reminds me kind of the Air Berlin again. This time it's just some blue and yellow, which is very nice. Uh, I don't know too much about this airline, but I'm sure they're a cool one, so... I see that right there it looks absolutely awesome and how about another flaps down this is just taking over jc wings i mean it's fine i like it but man they are sure getting after it so another flaps down aircraft but the more models the better right so and the good news is more quantity so if you do end up missing out on the original aircraft you can get the flaps down so it always ends up working out and i'm glad they're doing that so really cool to see that right there okay a fin air mcdonald's md83 uh oscar hotel lima papa foxtrot very nice to see this as well this is a really really cool livery i really like the fin air town in this livery this is a nice simple one i think this is probably their 2000s livery or so really really pretty plain uh i personally really like it i hope they make a retro aircraft i don't think this aircraft's active anymore uh very very cool aircraft that is really nice and as an mdad enthusiast that's really cool it's a very tip you know let's go go ahead and buy that is really cool so nice aircraft right there for fin air that is beautiful and in their future one to two hundred releases we have a jas japan air system mcdonald's nd81 this time juliet alpha 8461 very cool really unique livery of course um it kind of reminds me it's kind of the hybrid between retro and modern stuff of course you have uh, some hints of white but then you have the retro fonts and everything and just the silver underbelly that was a very common thing for retro planes so that's a very cool release don't know a whole lot about it but it's an md80 you love to see it very nice right there very cool air canada lockheed l10 uh l10 11 500 tristar juliet uh or sorry golf all uh, right charlie golf alpha golf hotel goodness okay there we go it's a beautiful looking plane. Anybody that's looking for some retro Air Canada stuff is going to be uh, big time on this, I'm sure. I'm not sure how the uh, Lockheed mold in the 1-200 scale is. I'm sure it's kind of good, but who knows? Uh, very cool to see that though. Really, really nice. I know the one foreign counterpart, I think is very hard to find. So excited to see one 200 release. That's very nice. Very cool. Air Canada Airbus A220-300, Charlie Gulf, Victor, Delta, Papa, and the turning red livery. This is also very nice to see right here. I think that this is a very unique livery, and I'm glad to see Air Canada making it happen right there. So very nice. ANA Cargo Interactive Boeing 777 Freighter, Juliet Alpha 771 Foxtrot. This is also a beautiful plane to see right here. I'm very glad to see uh, JC, or excuse me, um, 
yes, JC Wings going into detail on that. So that's really nice and another beautiful plane. These are really, really cool aircraft. Uh, and then we have another flaps down aircraft. I think this is the same one. So I will kind of just scan over it because I don't want to uh, make it too. Uh, Maybe we only had in the one to 400. Maybe that's what it was. But now we have in the one to 200. And if you're one 200 collector, I can't see how that's not more perfect. So beautiful to see right there for their awesome mold. Air Baltic, Boeing 737 500, uh, Yankee Lima, Bravo, Bravo, uh, Quebec, BBQ. That's interesting. Uh, beautiful plane. These are really, really unique aircraft. And I think they have one of the most unique liveries out there and really unique service. I got to watch the Jeb Brooks video on them. They are a very cool carrier. So nice to see that right there. That is absolutely awesome. And there is that JC Wing future preview another very interesting one the fin air looks really really cool and there's a lot of good ones in there so nice to see that and you guys already know the drill we're on to our next release so let's move into it alrighty so in this one we have some uh, ng models panda and fantasy wings we'll only do the panda and fantasy wings as we did a video on the ng releases uh probably like a month and a half ago or whenever it was so nevertheless let's dive into this fantasy wings airport equipment starting with an absolute banger we have the hong kong airport air traffic control tower set this is really cool um this really interests me it's a very very nice piece of art fantasy wings is very niche based and they sure do a good job on what they do and this is absolutely perfect but i mean honestly you could use it just as a control tower for anything else so that's really cool i am curious what they're selling this for so i'm going to take a brief look really quick um 140 dollars i mean that seems pretty reasonable it is very detail just take a look at that that is very nice so really really cool um, i think that's a reasonable price and i'm glad to see them selling that that's really cool and anybody that lives in that area i would be having a hard time resisting and what a diorama that is that is super cool well done not to mention you get the apron with it too so this is the airport outer base set really cool so you get uh some buses and passenger air stairs and all kinds of stuff that's really cool i really appreciate uh um Fantasy Wings going into detail on this. This is uh, $45, which I think is a really good deal on this. But as you can tell, very detailed. And honestly, you could use this for another airport if you wanted to. I mean, sure, it has some of the markings that you'd see in that region, but you could definitely use this as something else. And just look at the precision on the grass and all of that. That is really, really cool. So this definitely goes along with the set right here on the... Uh, air traffic control tower is kind of how it's supposed to work but very glad to see that that is really really cool and I, i'm just a big fan that is awesome very nice to see that right there very cool here are the panda models we have the uh russian air force uh tuplob tu 134 uniform bravo lima very cool to see that that is a nice looking aircraft and it is a new mold as uh, i think they have the 154 and maybe a 120 of sorts it was something like that but a 134 now for panda that's really cool and i'm excited to see what everybody thinks about it so nice to see that one right there we also have this uh Cretans airlines i botched that bad i apologize we'll just call it a csa uh tupelo t134a oscar uh, kilo hotel foxtrot del uh, lima excuse me very nice to see that aircraft that's a cool looking livery and i'm sure that's uh, going to be a very uh high demand model right there so very nice to see that right there very interesting to see them go after the Delta Airlines Airbus A321neo. This is November 502 Delta uh, X-ray. Really, really cool plane. Um, I'm kind of waiting for pictures and then I'll decide which one I want between the NG and the Panda. I'll probably end up going for the NG. I think theirs will come out very nice, but uh, whenever the pictures come out, we'll make that decision. So very cool. Definitely will get one of them for sure and they look really, really nice. In addition, you're going to find November 501 Delta Alpha, which is another Airbus A321neo. Very similar, not too much difference there um just a different tell number and you know it's big when they're releasing multiple iterations so very nice to see that and i'm glad to see that one going strong too very nice uh singapore cargo boeing 737 300 uh qc nine victor sierra uh uh q um Quebec uh, is Zulu. Sorry, that took a minute. You don't see a Q every day in the registration. Very nice aircraft right there. There's 737-300 molds, really cool. Uh, another one that we'll end up getting to is the Waffle Collectibles Southwest. Those are really nice, and I'm excited about those, and those, I'm excited to see what the Panda 737 mold's all about. Uh, in more detail, obviously, I got those ties, which was very, very nice, and those are beautiful planes, so I'm excited to see what this one's all about too. So nice job right there from uh, Panda Models. Very nice. Uh, Airtran uh Avis trans i don't i don't know that's interesting i've never seen it worded like that but i know it as the airbridge cargo boeing 737 800 victor uh quebec bravo foxtrot uh, sierra sorry i'm having a hard time on registrations today there's a lot of international ones but looks really really cool i'm sure uh that this is a fairly high demand model i'm not sure about all the regions that it flies to but it seems like a very cool plane so very nice to see that right there and that's absolutely awesome we're not going to get into the ngs again because we've already seen those and i'm making sure that is the end of the newsletter to make sure that we didn't miss
miss anything. So very nice right there. Really, really good. And let's jump into our next one. Alrighty guys, next up we have some in-flight releases. Super excited to see these. These are going to be absolutely awesome. So let's just dive into it. I, I saw this one on top. I, I'm sorry. It just, it came up so many times. Well, we have the American Airlines Boeing 77200 November 612 Alpha Alpha polished with stand in-flight. Man, that is a unit. I don't know if I want to sell my Gemini or not. I, I really want to try in-flight. I don't know if this is the aircraft to do it with because I did buy that Gemini. And uh, I'm sure the price is probably, I'm hoping it's under 100. Let's see what the price is. It's 142, boy, I didn't realize that was gonna be so much, but the polish is probably definitely worth it. Uh, definitely seems very interesting to me. So it's something I'm interested in. Let me know what you guys think. I paid like 86 for the Gemini, so uh, definitely need to take a look at it, but nevertheless, very nice. See that right there? And that is a such a beautiful plane, man. If that would have been three months ago, I definitely would have bought it. But of course we have the Gemini, so we'll have to see, but I'm very happy to see that. That's absolutely awesome. Air Canada L1011 TriStar Lockheed November 615 Echo Alpha. Uh, this one also has a stand. So it looks like they're going right back after on, um, JC wings. So interesting to see in-flight do it. I'm sure the in-flight one's probably the best one. So feel free to check them both out. I don't know the full details on that, but it seems really cool to see that. So very nice right there. And that is a beautiful aircraft. Very nice. This one was very interesting to see. The American, I think we did this in the podcast. I think so. I got messed up on this. But nevertheless, we have the American Airlines Boeing 707 100 November 7577 Alpha polished with standby in flight. Very nice to see this aircraft as well. It is an absolutely beautiful aircraft. I mean, just take a look at all the details there. Uh, that is a unit, man, in the Astrojet colors, man. That is awesome. Uh, I hope to get an aircraft like that sometime. I don't know if that will be the exact aircraft, but man, I really hope to get one like that soon. So very nice to see that right there from in-flight. That is an absolutely awesome release, and I'm very glad to see that. That's awesome. Next up, we have a U.S. Navy Convair UC-880. Uh, I guess the tell number is just 161572. Very nice. Very unique aircraft, but I'm sure anybody looking for that is going to really enjoy that. That's a retro U.S. Navy aircraft, and that looks really cool. So nice job by in-flight doing a very unique aircraft, and I'm sure a lot of retro mil military collectors, which I don't think I've ever really talked about that before. That's a very interesting niche. I, I think that's really cool. We'll really enjoy that aircraft. So very nice to see that right there. Uh, Pan Am Douglas DC-862, November 1803. A very popular aircraft right here. Alert, alert for anybody looking for that. That is a really cool plane. Pan Am was a great airline, and I'm sure retro collectors from that time frame. I think that was about the 60s, 70s, 80s. Really going to enjoy that aircraft. So great to see that right there from Pan Am. That's the unit. Uh, Vargrave uh, Boeing 767 300 Papa Papa Victor Oscar Kilo with the Brazil 500 titles. Very unique aircraft. I really like it. I think it's a beautiful looking airplane. Uh, this is a little bit more modern. So anybody looking for this aircraft, feel free to go pick it up because that is a beauty. Looking really nice right there. Very nice. Uh, next up, we have a Suram Airways Boeing 747 300 Papa Zulu. Uh, oh my gosh, my bad. Tango Charlie Mike. Very nice. Another beautiful looking 747. Really, really cool. I mean, just some beautiful colors on that livery, and that's a really unique aircraft. So nice to see that right there as well. That is really nice. Very cool. Air New Zealand Boeing 737-200, uh, Zulu Kilo, November, uh, Quebec, Charlie. Really nice to see this aircraft as well. Very unique. Of course, you have the cargo bay door right there on the 732. I think that's a high demand plane. So anybody looking for that? Lots of retro in this release. I really like it for in-flight. They always, their batches are very unique and I like this a lot. Speaking of which, we're throwing it back even more with this Airbus House A330-301 Foxtrot Whiskey Whiskey Kilo Alpha. Really nice to see that aircraft as well. This is obviously the previous house livery. You had the newer one with the blue and everything but this i thought was a really really cool livery for airbus back in the day so highly recommend this aircraft for anybody looking for a nice plane a330 that's really cool korean air fokker uh, f28 4000 fellowship hotel lima 7265 another retro aircraft for the fleet really really nice aircraft uh very unique love the uh the korean air livery on the fokker really really cool from in flight well done on that aircraft that is all she wrote for that in-flight release. That was a really nice release. I really enjoyed getting to see that. So next up, let's see. All right, into our next one, we have another round of in-flight aircraft. Very excited to get into these. So let's see what we got here. Beginning with a JAL, Japan Airlines, Airbus A350-941, Juliet Alpha 12 X-Ray Juliet. Very unique tail numbers. So I think this is even more limited release from in-flight. They're already pretty limited as it is, but I think this is another, this is just really iterated to be limited. So. Excuse me. Here's a beautiful iteration of Japan Airlines. Really, really cool aircraft. I've never got to see, excuse me. My goodness, I apologize. I've never got to see a JAL A350, but I think they look really, really cool. So very nice to see that right there from in-flight. They do a great job. So great to see that right there. 
How about a a r a a f Airbus E330 203 MRTT KC30 Alpha 100 year in uh, Royal Australian Air Force anniversary livery. Very nice to see that. Uh, I guess the actual tail number uh, must be Alpha 39. 004. Very nice aircraft right there. Really good detail. There's been a lot of these aircraft done. One, the 400s had several from Gemini Jets. Now you have this in flight one. So, very interesting. This must be a high demand uh, market. So, cool to see that right there. It's really cool. Very nice. Lutanda Airbus E310203 Delta Alpha India Charlie Fox Drive. Another beautiful retro aircraft. Looks really good. I love this old Lutanda delivery, and I'm sure anybody looking for that aircraft is going to be very happy to see it. So, very nice. Also, guys, I'm not trying to expedite, but I also don't want to make it too boring. So, that's why I'm uh, doing a moderate pace. So, that is why I usually go slower than this, but nevertheless. Next up, we have a TU. Uh, Tui, uh, Belgium, Boeing 767-304, Oscar Oscar, Juliet November, Lima. Nice to see this aircraft. I didn't know too much about the uh, Tui 767s, but it's really cool. Also very neat to see that this must be a Generation 1 aircraft or something like that, because may I usually see more 757s with the door like that on Gen 1 aircraft, but that also has a, the 767. Most of the time it's over the wing exits and only one door in the front. So uh, very cool to see that iteration right there. That's very nice. I'm sure anybody looking for that's going to really enjoy it. Very cool. Right. Air UK Boeing 737 828K2 uh, Golf Romeo Uniform Kilo Golf. My goodness, and then I guess you have another registration, must be Papa Hotel Hotel Sierra India. Really cool to see that aircraft. Um, what a unit! Just take a look how beautiful the Ryanair is. Their landings are interesting, and I would be interested to experience them sometime. So, very interesting aircraft right there, and very nice, very nice. Transgavia, Boeing 737-82K2 as well. Nine Victor, Mike, Delta, uh, Bravo, Lima. And this is the Wilco Van Elk livery. Very cool to see that. I guess it uh, relates back to Peter Pan, which is really cool. So they got some really nice illustrations and that's a very unique aircraft. So not even any titles or anything, just T on the tail. So very cool to see that really unique aircraft. And that is a really nice one, very nice. That is all for that release. That was very quick. Very, very good one right there. Was happy to see all those. Let's jump into our next round. Alrighty, so here we have a new El Dalvador pre-order for one the 400. And this is the Copa Airlines Boeing 737-800 Hotel Papa 1825 Charlie Mike Papa. These registrations are really wrong. Uh, long, not wrong. They're, they're fine. So really cool to see this aircraft. This is a nice colorful livery. I've always really wanted to get a Copa Airlines aircraft, so hopefully that, that, that day will come around soon. But that is a nice looking aircraft. Highly recommended for anybody looking for that special livery. And this is really cool to see Copa getting a ton of liveries. They've got the Connect Miles one, this one. I think there was another special. I'm trying to think of what it would have been, but lots of great Copa planes. So glad to see it. And that's definitely knocking out a niche based aircraft. And for anybody looking for some cars, here we have some Toyotas. Not going to go into that too much. This is the aviation channel, but they sure seem cool. Okay, never mind. <laughs> there was one more down here at the, or, um, okay, I guess, yeah, one more down here at the bottom. It's the Singapore Star Lines, Boeing 737 MAX 8, MAX 9. So I, I don't know. Okay, just MAX 8. It got kind of meshed up with the registration. 9 Victor, Mike, Bravo, Lima in the white tail livery. Um, I think that... This one might have got done by JC, maybe, but it's really cool to see this down here. And thanks for uh, Easy Toys for updating that, even though it got missed. So very nice to see that. And yeah, that was a quick one, but a good one. So let's jump into the next. Alrighty, so here we go with some new Hobby Master stuff. A new mold, the MiG-21 is out, and it's going to be beginning with the Russian Foxhound uh, Makan uh, MiG-31. I'm not even going to try to pronounce all that. All I can see is the registrations Hotel Alpha 9701. That's a nice looking aircraft. The detail on these are really nice, and it's really, really cool. So, glad to see that, and great to get the variety going there. And here we go with the battleship. You mean? Um, oh, it's a boat. Okay, so here's a battleship, I guess. Uh, that's cool. Um, wasn't anticipating to see that. It's one of the 700 scale which is quite interesting so there's that boat too so cool to see the boats here we go into some more aviation how about this so this is the new forces of valor august and september pre-order so here's a really cool looking spitfire right here for uh or any the i guess I, I again i'm sorry guys i'm trying to get better with geography i got signed up for a geography class going into college here so i'll get a little bit better with this very nice right here this must be a johnny livery of sorts johnny johnson number 144 sequence 1944 very nice uh forces of valor fox Oscar Victor 812005 Charlie Whiskey. Really cool. I've always wanted to get a Spitfire. These seem like really cool planes. I've always been inspired when I got to fly an infinite flight way back when and all that fun stuff. So that's a great looking plane. That's really nice. Uh, here's another Spitfire right here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce. You guys can clearly see it and get iterate it for yourself uh, because I don't want to keep watching it and I don't want to keep getting memed on. So I'm just going to let you guys read it for yourself. But I really like the pattern delivery on this one. This is very cool. And again, I hope to get more of these aircraft. It seems really cool and I'm a big fan of it. So very nice. 
Also, if you're looking for military aircraft, you're more than welcome to use the link in my description for the uh, Midwest Model Store uh, to go check out their uh, awesome uh, military. They made a whole website for it. So feel free to go to their website, click on the military tab, and that can lead you. I'm sure they got all of these. So feel free to check that out. They do a great job carrying military planes, and please check that out. Uh, we would both very much appreciate it. So link in the description for that. I'll put it on the top this, for this video. So very nice. This is a UAF AAF test fire Spitfire, uh, and this is the uh, Toy Hello. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the rest of that, but very nice aircraft. I like delivery here. I'm not sure what this emblem is, but it looks pretty cool. So again, this is a little out of my realms, but I hope you get better with this, just like my F-16 that I got for the South Dakota National Guard special delivery. So very cool. I think these look great. Very nice job. This is the Pearl Harbor B-40 uh, B Tomahawk, uh, 78th Pursuit Squadron, Velos Field, December 7th, 1941, Forces of Valor. Very unique aircraft right here. So obviously this represents a huge purpose with Pearl Harbor. Um, I can't believe that that's already been, oh, I think it was 80 years, 82 years, something like that, which is crazy. Um, here's the beautiful livery itself, as you guys can see, absolutely crazy unbelievable to be quite honest that that's just that's an, that's mind-boggling to me but what a pretty livery and serving a huge purpose at pearl harbor you're also going to find this one and this is from the smith third pursuit squadron uh avg of china in june of 1942 uh i like the nose on that that looks really cool with the shark mouth that's really neat so i kind of always been interested why they've chosen to do that with these aircraft but i think it look it definitely serves a very unique purpose so nice to see that right there it's really cool this is a RAF uh, of the uh, number 112 Squadron North Africa, October 1941. Uh, this one also has a very similar iteration, but this has the GA uh, Bullseye L on it. So very interesting aircraft. These are very interesting indeed. Don't know a whole bunch about them, but very cool. So very interesting. I'm very interested in one of these Spitfires, to be quite honest. So again, Midwest Model Store probably has them. I think I've seen Spitfires on there. They may not be those particularly, but they have every military plane that you could want. And I really appreciate that. So very nice. And just like that, let's transition into our next one. Alrighty, next up we have some more El Dalvador models. Let's take a look. Okay, so starting with the Norvian Airbone 737-200 Mexico. Uh, X-Ray Alpha Oscar Charlie India. Uh, very nice. So this was done with in-flight, it looks like. I'm not sure the full details on this airline, but it seems like another very cool airline. There's a nice picture of it. Hopefully the model turns out good. I'm sure it does. So very, very nice to see that right there from El Alvador. Very nice. Uh, we also have a Puna or Poon Law, I think, something like that. Uh, Boeing 737 200. Uh, very, very nice. Charlie X ray Bravo Hotel Mike. Really cool to see that aircraft as well. Nicely detailed. Really, really nice. And I'm glad to see that right there. That is really cool. Very nice. Uh, we have the Lasas uh, Boeing 737 200. Uh, really cool to see this from Costa Rica. November 239 Tango Alpha. So nice to see the US registration right there. Beautiful looking livery. Very nice. And I'm glad to see them doing all these retro 737 200. So for anybody interested in retro 732s, uh, El Salvador's got your day made today. Very nice. Speaking of which, how about a, a Saas Honduras Boeing 737 200? Hotel Romeo Sierra, Hotel Oscar. Uh, this one's very colorful and nice. I love the color blue, and this uh, blue definitely stands out. I'm sure it's going to look really good on the model. So very nice to see that right there. Uh, there's the dates it looks like uh, from when it operated. So very nice. Was it 1945 to 1994 maybe? I don't know, but very cool to see that. That's very nice. And that's it for those uh, 4732. So anybody looking for 732s, get on top of it. Very nice. Alrighty, so here we go with some more El Avador models. Here we go. We have an Avianca 80 years Boeing uh, McDonnell Doubles MD-83, excuse me, November 632 Charlie Tango. Very nice to see that aircraft. Uh, I guess this is from all of those companies making it, I guess, but nevertheless, really, really pretty plain. As you can see by the model, it looks really nice. Proportional mold, very nice retro livery. Looks really, really good, highly recommend. I love all these airlines doing their retro liveries, and that is a beautiful one right there. Very nice. We have a Herpa Military 1200. Since we're here, we might as well assess it. And this is a really cool plane. So, yes. The U.S. Air National Guard Idaho Fairchild A10C Thunderbolt 2. Very nice. And this is from the um, 190th uh, Wing 75th Anniversary. Okay, very nice for Idaho right there. Really cool plane. I don't know too much about the Idaho Air National Guard, but they must have A10s. So, that's really, really cool. I'm glad to see that. And that is very nice. Very good plane. We also have the USA Air Fairchild A10C Thunderbolt uh, right here as well this is a very unique looking livery take a look at that i don't know if it's to represent mountains or what the or just to have a nice color pattern but that is that's a really nice plane very very nice healthy and eight ten soon they seem like a really cool planes here we have a russian air force tu 160 i didn't even know they had this mold very unique uh as you can see really nice detail on this aircraft you got three main landing gears nice tail design too so very unique aircraft i really like that nice job 
Uh, you RAF Eurofire um, Triathlon Display Team uh, comes by. I'm not even gonna try to rest that. It's a very cool looking plane from the red to the blue to the black. That is quite a unique looking aircraft right there. So nice job, Herpa, for making that happen. That's looking really good. Here we have some airliners from them, and I usually don't go into Herpa stuff, but we're already here, so we might as well. We have a KLM Every Ear J 195E2 Papa Hotel November X ray Alpha. This is a nice looking aircraft. Herpa seems like a pretty good brand. 1 200 products from them seem pretty good, and their 1 500 lineup also looks pretty nice. So, not quite as detailed as 1 400, but I would recommend it. They seem pretty good. So, let me know what you guys think of Herpa in the comment section. We have a Luftwaffe Air Force Ready to Fly Airbus E321. Uh, I guess the registration is 1 5 plus 10. Very interesting, very nice. Or this is the registration, maybe, I'm not sure, but very nice to see that aircraft, really, really cool. I like it, very nice. Uh, here we have the new titles, Air France, Airbus E320, uh, Foxtrot Hotel, Bravo, November, Kilo, um, very nice. Very cool, I think this the city on the nose probably. Uh, really cool to see, Air France seems like a very unique airline. Love the mold right here, this looks pretty good, so nice to see an updated Air France plane. Luftwaffe, um, Luftwaffe, I think, sorry. Um, Lockheed C-130J-30, very nice, 55 pl plus zero, one, really, really cool. I like it. Uh, these are very cool planes. Hope to get more of those soon. They look really nice. French Air Force Airbus uh, A400M Atlas, ET-461 Bull, Reactivation Squadron, Foxtrot Romeo Bravo Alpha Romeo, very nice. Take a look at the uh, decal back there. You rarely see that on a military aircraft. So nice to see the French Air Force going to work, making some nice detail on the A400. That's really cool. Here's another CSA uh, Airlines Illusion LIL62M Oscar Kilo Juliet Bravo India. This is a nice looking aircraft. As you can see, you got the landing gears looking really nice. Um, there must be some sort of pull right there. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but that's really nice. Uh, very nice detail. Just take a look at all that, man. That, that's really cool. I like the colors on that. That's very nice. Uh, Happy Lloyd, Boeing 737-200, USA, Delta Alpha Hotel Lima, India. Very interesting with the USA title right there. That's very cool. Uh, nice looking retro, man. We've seen a lot of great retro planes recently. Take a look at all these, man. How about that? Very nice. Really cool to see that. And that is it for Herpa. So thank you, Herpa, for some more great releases. Alrighty, next up we got some Aviation 400 at long last, and I'm really excited for this because I saw A380 on the title, so this probably has something to do with the new mold, so let's take a look. Starting with the new mold with the detachable gear, it's Korean Air Airbus A380 861 Hotel Lima 7612 from Aviation 400, so really cool to see Aviation 400 diving into the realms of the Airbus A380. I think we have some pretty good molds as it is, but I'm excited to see one of the most detailed, if not the most detailed, one of 400 producer come in and give this an opportunity. I'm really excited excited detachable gears hasn't been a big thing since uh back when dragon wings did it a lot back in uh the 2000s awesome so yeah sorry about that guys but it's really cool to see this like i was saying uh dragon wings was the really the last big uh manufacturer to go after this before they unfortunately merged into um i'm trying to remember who they merged with darn it it was it. I think they pretty much merged their operations, but really cool to see Aviation 400 getting after it. I would love to try one of these. Um, I don't care what airline it is. I would like to try any of them. So I'm trying to think if there's any I would really like. The ET or the Etihad really interests me just because of how nice delivery is, but maybe an Air France or a Lutanza, both those airlines I think have very unique A380 operations. Uh, so yeah, obviously I have the Emirates BA and Qantas right now. So, but very cool. Really nice to see that. That's awesome. Very nice. Uh, oh, this one seems interesting to me. Qatar Airbus A380 uh, 861 Alpha 7 Alpha Papa Alpha. Very nice. So Qatar obviously had a big operations of the Airbus E380s. Uh, their livery looks very interesting on the aircraft, in my opinion. But um, yeah, they were they're more of a big. Um, just heavy operator, but not like huge heavies, like the 747 and the 8380. They're more of the 777s and the A350s. So very nice to see that right there. That's a beautiful aircraft and definitely interesting to me. That looks really nice. They're also going to be doing a China Southern Airbus E380. Nice to see this. Also with detachable landing gears. Uh, very nice. Uh, Bravo 6136. Really nice to see that aircraft. Um, yeah, that's a that that would be a nice one too. That's really nice. So anybody at LAX or any other airport that gets these, uh, definitely get after it. That's a beautiful looking aircraft right there. There is the Lutanza right there. Ironically, the Airbus A380 841 this time around. Uh, Delta Alpha India Mike Alpha, not to mention China Southern did too, but I did just mention the Lutanza. It looks like a beautiful plane to me. So maybe I try the new mold with uh, the Lutanza aircraft. That looks really nice. So great to see that right there from Lutanza. That's beautiful. Also named Frankfurt. So pretty fitting right 
right there. That's really nice. And as you can see right there at Houston, that looks absolutely beautiful. Really nice. Here's a Singapore. Man, they are doing all of them. The Singapore Airbus A388419 Victor Sierra Kilo Alpha. They're going to exhaust all their liveries if they keep doing all of them right now. They've already done half of them in the first release. My goodness. I mean, it's one of those things that you can always continue to produce more in some re-releases. Re Excuse me. I've been talking a lot. But man, it looks really nice. So glad to see that right there. And let's see if they're going to do any more. They are going to do a special one, the ribbon livery uh, for Singapore. Very nice. So I've never seen this livery. It's really cool to see the Singapore title so after the fuselage. That's really cool. So never seen something quite like that before, but that is really, really good looking. So nice aircraft right there. Um, now we're back into some more normal stuff. So we have Air Canada Boeing 77-9 Dreamliner, Charlie Foxtrot, November Oscar Echo. Uh, nice looking aircraft right there. They've done a great job with the 77 mold, and I'm excited to see them do the uh, Air Canada delivery. So uh, now we have multiple carriers, as you guys can see right here. Um, not carriers. I'm so sorry, guys. Multiple manufacturers making uh, Air Canada 787. So very nice to see that right there. That is absolutely awesome. Okay, and I'll tell you, CSA... Um, Hybrid livery, I don't know what exactly this is. A TU 104 Oscar Kilo November Delta Foxtrot India Delta India uh, Whiskey November retro models. Very interesting. I'm not sure if these are two separate planes or a hybrid livery or what that is, but that's really cool looking. I'm pretty sure it's two separate planes. That would be my guess. I don't exactly know, but that's a very looking, uh, very good looking uh, set right there. So maybe it is a set of two aircraft. I don't know. Let's see what their website says. This would be a little bit more distinguishing. I guess it must be two. Uh, it must be one livery on one side and one on the other. Yeah, it has the same nose cone and different registration. I don't know. That's interesting. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know what's going on there. It's an interesting release right there. So interesting to see, but very nice indeed. Very nice. Aeroflot TU-104, Charlie, 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 Papa, Lima, 5415. Very nice to see that right there. That's another beautiful looking retro aircraft. So for anybody looking for that Aeroflot, there you go. Very nice. And that is it for that. Um, I think I'm just going to end up turning this all into one video. I know it will be a little bit longer than what I was anticipating, but we're already over halfway or where are we in reference? Yeah, we're about halfway. So we might as well just push it all through in one video. So hope you guys are enjoying so far. Let's take it into our next one. And this is going to be a bigger one. This will be the Phoenix release. Typically, I would make a whole video on this, but why don't we just do it all right here? So here we go with the Phoenix. One of the 400 releases. Let's see. I heard one big thing. So I'm interested to see if this actually comes true, but let's see. Alrighty, Azul Airbus A320 Neo Papa Romeo uh, Yankee Sierra India in the Duck Palo Donald D World livery. Okay, so this is obviously promoting Disney. This is really cool to see for Azul that Disney's going worldwide. That's very, very nice. I really like this li livery. Uh, congratulations to Azul for getting the um, proper copyright to do that livery. I think it looks really cool and I appreciate their efforts on that. So awesome to see that one. Very, very nice and it looks really, really good. Really cool. Uh, I'm sorry guys, my fan's popping over there for whatever reason. I may go turn it off if I need to, but we have the Unipon, thank you, Boeing 747SR100, Juliet Alpha 8157. Really cool to see this aircraft, it looks really nice. Nice um, detail on there on top, and then of course the normal uh, ANA livery from there. Really cool to see Phoenix doing this aircraft. I'm sure it'll do a great job on the detail and the mold and everything, so highly recommend it if you're looking for a retro ANA 747. There it is, oh my goodness. The lies were not false, or I'm sorry, the rumors were not false. We have the American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER November 729 Alpha November by Phoenix. Phoenix rarely dives into the U.S. heavy market whatsoever. Usually the U.S. market as a whole. They did the Prime Airs and they've done some different various cargo airlines and stuff. But they have never, to my knowledge, done like an American 777. This is really cool to see. I'm very excited because as you guys know, I love the Phoenix uh, 777 mold. So I'm really excited to get this. This is uh, I, I haven't bought an aircraft so far from this whole hour of the assessment. But this is definitely going to be one of them I'm buying. Because man, I am so excited for that. Really excited. Uh, I probably will suffice for one because NG models, it's going to be crazy because now it appears to be to me that I'm going to have all kinds of American 777 300s because I have three already from Gemini Jets with a fourth on the way. I have this Phoenix models one now, which is really nice. And then I have my one to 200 Gemini one, which is also very nice. I'll probably end up getting a Skymarks by the time uh, <laughs> it's all said and done, which will be nice. Then I got this uh, Phoenix one now coming in, which is really cool. If it's really good, I may end up getting two of them, but I'm really interested to see how they do on the color because Phoenix has never gained an American Airlines 
Defense model a try from my um, assessment. So I'm really eager to see how they do with this aircraft. But yes, definitely expect me to be ordering this. And then of course, as I was getting to, NG models will likely be doing this. And who knows, JC Wings up next, I'm not sure. But the Gemini latest 777 looked really good. So Phoenix, can you compare? I don't know because I really enjoyed my Gemini 777s, but I'm kind of ready to change it up because I've used the same three ones for months and Dallas needs an update so or upgrade. So excited for both these 777s. It's going to be spot on and I'm excited to utilize them. So definitely expect that one to be purchased coming up and not a flaps down. So that's all good. So nice to see. Expect me to come uh, like $50 probably. I don't know. 55, 50, 99. Perfect. Okay. Very excited for that. That's going to be awesome. Skymarks Airlines, Boeing 737-800, Juliet Alpha 73 November Gulf, Pokemon livery. This is a nice looking aircraft. Of course, Skymarks, the low cost carrier in Japan, it gets after these uh, aircraft and they do a really good job with them. So this is a nice looking one, really good details right there. Uh, you got Pikachu and all that. That's really nice. Um, really, really, I believe that's the character's name. I'm pretty sure if I botched it, apologize, but I'm pretty sure that's it. So very nice to see that right there. That's really cool. Oh, Lutanza, 787-9 Dreamliner. This is the first one as well. Delta Alpha, Bravo, Papa, Alpha. Very nice. So I'm really eager, very interested to see what Lutanza will do with their Boeing 787s. Uh, absolute unit of a Cumulonimbus back there in the background. This must have been somewhere over there during the summer. Uh, really, really nice, man. Take a look at that uh, Cumulonimbus with, uh, producing that uh, Sears Cloud, man. That is a unit. So really nice to see that. Beautiful picture by the photographer. Absolute unit. I'm very jealous. Uh, that is awesome. So really eager to see what they'll do with their operations. I'm sure they have a bright future your head i'm very eager to see what happens but it'll be very nice to see so really nice to see that right there very cool here's the jl uh, airbus a350 900 from phoenix juliet alpha 15 x-ray juliet in the one world livery ng models did this aircraft highly recommend getting their version but this is still a pretty solid version if you're looking for another one so very nice to see that right there from uh phoenix and i think they'll do a good job with that this aircraft i would recommend getting from phoenix Oh, crap. Yeah, this is the Japan uh, Boeing 777-300ER Juliet Alpha 89545. This just started flying to Dallas from Tokyo, Narita, um, daily. I'm not sure if I want to do this or not, because worst case, I can't sell it if it does stop flying to Dallas permanently. But it obviously is flying. This is the aircraft that I do need. And obviously, I'm already making one order here, so I could make two, make it even more interesting. Um, I really would like this aircraft. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This is definitely a teeter-totter one for me because, you know, the 7-9 definitely suffice, but the triple three for Japan, so cool to see, and I would love to represent that at Dallas, especially if that becomes a new normal. So let me know in the comments if you guys think I should get this aircraft. I'm very interested, and I would, I'm would. i very interested to potentially get that, so let me know what you guys think. That's very nice. We also have the one world livery for Japan, Juliet Alpha 7... Uh, J752 Juliet. That is a nice looking aircraft as well. That one also really interests me. So let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely tempted to get that aircraft as well, but we'll have to see. It looks really, really good. Uh, National Airlines Boeing 747-400, November 936, Charlie Alpha in the 30 Glorious Years livery. This is a nice looking aircraft. Really nice to see that 30 right there. Cargo Airlines do good on their uh, specials. You know, there's not too much to them, but they always look really nice. So great to see National doing that. For anybody looking for a cool National aircraft, there you go. Pretty niche base, but uh, they will do it. So very nice. Here's the Atlas Air um, Astral, Boeing 747-400, November uh, 408, Mike Charlie. Very nice to see this aircraft as well. Lots of Atlas Airs recently from uh, Phoenix. So they've definitely sufficed that market really well. And here's another very niche based one. So really nice also if you just need an Atlas Air aircraft and don't really care about this decal, you can just go for it. So nice to see that right there and another very special clarion light there. Here's a really unique one. We have the General Electric Boeing 747-400, November 747, Gulf Foxtrot, pretty uh Pretty fitting registration right there. Uh, General Electric, of course, makes some amazing engines, and they were probably testing them on this aircraft right here on the 747. So I'm really glad to see Phoenix going into detail on this aircraft. So nice to see that right there as well. That is really nice. Very, very cool. Uh, how about another Lutanda A380? This time it's going to be in the current colors, Delta Alpha uh, India Mike Golf. Very interesting to see this right here. Very, very nice. So uh, Aviation 400 will probably end up making this delivery, so I would probably hold out. But this is still a nice aircraft, too, with some good detail. So if you're looking for one right now, this is a good one. I know Gemini Jets also made this quite a while back, but I'm pretty sure that aircraft's beyond hard to find. So I would just suffice for this one. Very nice. Very cool to see that. How about a British Airways Airbus A380 Golf uh, X-Ray Lima Echo Foxtrot to go along with the mix? So if you missed out on the Gemini from 2021, this is a pretty solid aircraft to get you back on track. But also, just like the Lutanza, 
Aviation 400 will probably make this. So either way, if you're looking to suffice yourself right now, this is another great release for Phoenix. I'm pretty sure they've done this uh, several times at this point. So nice to see that aircraft right there. That's very nice. How about a Singapore as well? Nine Victor Sierra Kilo Whiskey. Nice to see this aircraft as well. I would just recommend the Aviation 400 though, but still great to see Phoenix and competitions, what we got going. So very nice. Uh, I'm not going to give you guys the same speech for the Qatar. It's really cool to see this. Although I do think this is the white underbelly livery, which is nice. The other one's full uh, gray Qatar livery. So if you're looking for this particular one or just two Qatar A380s with two different registrations, this one's also pretty good. Alpha 7, Alpha Papa, or Papa Golf. And here's that retro Qatar 777-300ER Alpha 7 uh, Bravo Oscar Charlie in that uh, like updated, I don't think it's a retro, I think it's like an updated titles type livery, I'm not exactly sure, but that is a really nice looking aircraft. I would recommend that if you're looking for that aircraft. Uh, NG's doing it too, so that's also a good one, but both molds are pretty solid, so either one, take your pick. Very unique to see the South African Airways Airbus A340-600 uh, Zulu Sierra Sierra India, uh, November India, excuse me, in the 1 to 400 scale. My camera's about to die and run out of time, so let me restart this real quick. Alrighty, back into this we go with the South African Airbus A340-600. Man, this is such a cool plane, just giving me so many vibes from back in the day, man. It's so cool. I don't know what it is about these A340-600s, but they're very fascinating to me. Lutonza, Iberia, South Africa, and Qatar, all of them, they're so cool. So, very nice to see this right here. Really Really, really cool aircraft and for anybody looking for that beauty there it is love to see it very nice phoenix well done how about an LOS uh, Airbus E340-300 Hotel Bravo Juliet Mike Echo? I believe these are still flying, so if you're looking for one of these, definitely pick it up. I'm pretty sure, could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure these boys are from Switzerland, which is really cool. So right there was Swiss, or it's somewhere in there, it's somewhere in that Europe region. So very cool livery right there. Very nice aircraft and highly recommended if you're looking for it. I like the flower on the tail. It's a really nice touch too. Dang, Phoenix, lots of releases this month. You'd love to see it. Uh, Livia Airbus E340-200, five alpha, uh, no Oscar November Echo. Pretty sure this aircraft made it in the JFK the other day, which is really cool. So, or not the other day, but I think for you and week, I think I saw a post of it. So, very, very cool airplane. It's such a unique one. The E340-200 rarely flies nowadays, and this is a really cool iteration of it. I don't think it was the best performing aircraft either. It could have been. It was way back when, but really unique aircraft. Really like it, and it's a very nice aircraft. So, really nice to see that right there. And I think either my computer glitched out or is that that's finally the lineup for phoenix let me see if i can work with that a little bit uh let's see that must be it so yes very nice release right there from phoenix they did a great job very happy to see that well done by phoenix and yeah ultimately very happy to see that Alrighty guys, so I did decide to break this up into two videos because this would have been near two hours long as one full video, so, and why not? More content and it's nice to break it up into two sections for you guys. So, nevertheless, I really hope you guys enjoyed this first uh, release reaction massive segment. If you guys did make it all the way through, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. There was a lot of great planes in here and I'm still, I'm just looking back editing, I'm like, man, I don't know what I wanna buy. So, uh, definitely some great ones for sure and there were some really, really good ones, especially with the Phoenix releases to finish that off, but yeah. Expect the next part in a couple days. That'll be coming very soon. And I hope you guys are excited for it. I think it'll be about the same time uh, frame in terms of uh, the duration of the video. So hope you guys are excited for that. There's some good ones in there too. And yeah, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Expect a lot of great content to come. And yeah, hopefully it releases too. I'd love to see some more good ones. The Gemini one should be coming out anytime as well. So I'm excited for those too. So expect a video there as well. But with all that being said, that will do for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Dreader of Aviation. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Dreader of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Dreader of Aviation is signing off.